Okay, in the uh, previous uh, lectures, we have discussed about a specialized IC called as triple five timer, which generates the precise uh, time delays and is having lot of applications. Today, I will discuss about uh, one more such type of uh, specialized IC called uh, phase lock loop. PLL. So, this PLL can be implemented by using discrete components or you can use the IC also. The IC name of this one is SENE 560. First, I will discuss the phase lock loop using discrete components, later I will discuss the IC details. So, if I consider the blocks of this phase lock loop, there will be a phase detector followed by low pass filter and error amplifier followed by VCO. VCO stands for voltage controlled oscillator. From VCO we will take the output and a part of this output will be fed back to the phase detector and there will be another input signal to this phase detector. AVS is the input signal corresponding frequency is FS, VO is the output signal corresponding frequency is F0. Now coming to the operation of this phase lock loop, the VCO voltage control oscillator. Initially this voltage control oscillator operates at a frequency called as free running frequency. F0. So, this will be decided by external components. Such as R and C. So, I will discuss the, uh, the detailed circuitry of VCO later. So, initially this VCO operates at F0. Now, this uh, VCO frequency can be shifted in either direction by applying a DC signal at the input. This is called DC control signal, we call as VC. This VCO frequency can be shifted in either direction using a DC control signal.
that is F naught becomes plus or minus F naught becomes F naught plus or minus delta F where delta F is the frequency deviation. and this is proportional to the DC control voltage VC that is why the name voltage control oscillator. So, this voltage is going to control the frequency of oscillations. So, this is about this VCO. Now, for this phase detector one input is VCO output another input is the external input whose frequency is Fs. Now, phase detector basically compares the phase and frequency of input and output signal. Now, depends upon the difference, it produce a signal called as error signal. And how to implement this phase detector? Phase detector is basically a multiplier. And is for this phase detector. One input is V s with the frequency of f s, the other input is V o with the frequency of f naught, output if I call as error signal V e is equal to V s into V naught. We know from the elementary mathematics uh, that if I multiply two uh, sinusoidal signals with the different frequencies the output will be having sum of the frequency and difference of the frequency. So, if this frequency is f s, this is f naught, the output v e consists of f s plus f naught as well as f s minus f naught. I will discuss the mathematical analysis of this phase detector later, but this produces two frequencies. So, between these two this is high frequency this is low frequency. So, the output of the phase detector is applied to the low pass filter. So, this uh, filters the high frequency f s plus f naught and passes the low frequency f s minus f naught. Here the frequencies are f s plus f naught f s minus f naught whereas, here it will be only f s minus f naught. So, this f s minus f naught uh, will be amplified using this error amplifier which generates a DC control signal uh, which controls the frequency of the VCO. So, as a result of that what happens this is a closed loop operation. So, this f naught will be shifted in either directions depends upon the, the DC control uh, signal which in terms depends upon the, the difference of the frequencies. So, here there are three stages of this uh, phased lock loop. So, one is
फ्री रनिंग स्टेज एस ए हाउ टोल्ड बेस्ड ऑन दी एक्सटर्नल कॉम्पोनेंट्स दी वी सी ओ विल आसिलेट एट सम फ्रीक्वेंसी ऑफ एफ नाट द सेकेंड स्टेज इज कैप्चर स्टेज इन दिस वॉट हैपन्स इज सो द डिफरेंस सिग्नल जनरेटेड बाई दिस फेज डिटेक्टर इज गोइंग टू चेंज आर द शिफ्ट सो इन कैप्चर रेंज द एरर सिग्नल The error signal applied to the VCO shift the frequency in the direction. So it has to reduce. the difference between fs and f0 initially with free running frequency will be having some difference fs minus f0 say if this is say for example uh, 500 hz so now the error signal that is going to be generated at the output of error amplifier after filtering the high frequency so that will generate a dc control signal to the vco that dc control signal is going to change the frequency of the vco such that this difference will be reduced so now this fs minus f not becomes say 400 again this difference signal is going to generate another uh, dc uh, control signal which again changes the difference to a value which is less than the previous value say 300 so like that the error signal that is going to generate is going to change the frequency of the vco such that the difference will be reduced okay. once this stage is reached the pll is said to be in capture range starting from the free running frequency now we are changing the frequency of the vco in a direction so that the frequency of the error signal will be decreases this is what is called capture range now how long this difference uh, will decrease until this f not is equal to fs so once f not is equal to fs this is called as lock range okay. the third stage is lock stage in lock stage the output of vco changes continuously until f not is equal to fs that is the input frequency is equal to vco output frequency once fs is equal to fs the pll is said to be lock range 
after that whatever the variations of this input signal will be tracked by the uh, PLL. Once the lock is established, the VCO output tracks the changes in the input. So, whatever the changes in the input will be followed by the VCO output. So, this type of tracking is required in many of the applications, especially in uh, communication, uh, FSK detector as well as uh, FM detector and the frequency synthesized uh, transmitters and receivers even in the uh, DC motor control and all. So, this you can call as a tracking range also, after this, this will be in tracking mode. This is about the operation of the PLL. Initially, VCO will be at free running uh, frequency F0. Once if you apply the input signal, then the difference between the input and VCO output will be produced at the output of the phase detector, which will access the error signal. And the error signal is going to change the DC input voltage of the VCO such that the difference is going to be reduced. So, once uh, that uh, difference starts reducing that is called capture range and that difference reduces continuously until F s is equal to F naught. Once F s is equal to F naught the PLL is said to be in lock range. After that it will tracks the VCO output, after that the VCO output tracks the changes of the input. This is the operation of the PLL. Now, if I take the details of the each block phase detector as I have told is basically a multiplier, how to implement this phase detector. Phase detector can be implemented by using either analog circuits or digital circuits. We have analog phase detector, digital phase detector. So, if I first consider the analog switch type phase detector, there will be a switch, the on off of this switch will be controlled by VCO output, this is the output from the VCO. And this is input signal, the frequency of F s and this is error signal V. As I have told basically the phase detector is a multiplier. So, if you multiply this input signal with the output from the VCO which is in the form of a square wave. So, whenever the VCO output is high during this state. The input will be transferred as it is, when the VCO output is low, output will be 0. Now, we will uh, draw the input output waveforms for different uh, phases. As I have told this phase detector is going to compare the frequency as well as the phase also. Okay. So, let us consider uh, V s is equal to capital V s is the magnitude or the peak value into sin of 2 pi f s t. 
and V O that is output of the V C O is capital V naught which is the peak value sin of 2 pi f naught t plus some phase angle. As I have told this phase detector is going to compare the frequencies as well as the phase. Now, the phase difference between these two is phi. So, what will be output of this phase detector? Basically, multiplication of V s and V naught. So, if you multiply this V s V naught we will get V s V naught times sin of 2 pi f s t plus into sin of 2 pi f naught t plus phi. This is sin a sin b form. So, 2 sin a sin b can be written as cos a minus b is cos a cos b plus sin a sin b. If I take uh, minus of cos a minus b, this will be written in the form of V s V naught by 2. So, 2 sin a sin b will be cos a minus b which is cos of 2 pi f s minus f naught into t minus phi minus cos a plus b 2 pi into f s plus f naught into t plus phi. So, at log f s is equal to f naught. So, what happens to v e? v s v naught divided by 2 and this will become 0. So, only cos of minus phi which is equal to cos phi is one term minus second term is v s v naught by 2 cos of 2 pi f s plus f naught. So, this becomes now 2 f s or 2 f naught. So, this is cos of twice 2 pi f s or f naught into t plus phi. There are two terms, one is this is d c term. and this is double frequency term. If input frequency is f s, this term will be having twice f s. So, this twice f s term can be removed using low pass filter. You take the low pass filter whose cutoff frequency is less than twice the the input frequency f s then this will be eliminated. Then after the low pass filter if I call as V e dash as error signal this will be V s V naught by 2 cos phi. So, you can see that here this error signal will be 0 if phi is equal to 90 degrees. So, we can uh, explain the same using the waveforms also. Suppose this is the V C O output V naught. I will consider here as a square wave. Those square wave will be having lot of sinusoidal signals using Fourier series representation. function of time. 
Now V is I will represent for three different phases. One is I will take phi is equal to 0. So, what type of V s will get? This is negative peak and this is positive peak, this is negative peak, positive peak and so on. So, what will be the output? This is your V s. What is V e? The error signal. The output of the phase detector will be whenever V 0 is 1 here this will be switch will be on so there is a switch which will be controlled by v naught and here we have v s so this output v e will be v s if v naught is equal to 1 if i call this as v c c which is 5 volts Vcc and V is equal to 0 if V naught is equal to minus Vcc. So, during this portion the output is 0 if I call this output of low pass filter using the red signal this will be 0 and during this portion whatever the input will be transferred to the output. And here 0, here this output, here 0, here output, here 0 and so on. So, this is red signal is called V e, that is error signal. And if you take the average using a low pass filter, you will get somewhere here the average error which is positive. This is average value of error. This is the case of phi is 0 and second case is phi is 90 degrees. So, in that case what happens? The waveform will be something like Now, we can see that so during this negative portion anyhow 0, so output of this phase detector will be so during this negative portion 0 during the positive portion as it is it will go means this portion as it is will be the output V and here again negative portion this comes to 0 positive portion as it is and here again 0 here as it is like this. So, if I take this during the positive portion here this is as it is this will come if I take the average value. So, this value and this value get cancelled this and this this is positive this is negative these two will get cancelled. Similarly, here this is negative this is positive get get cancelled. Similarly, here negative and positive 
will get cancelled. As a result of that error signal will be 0. V average value is here this was positive now this is 0. So, which we have already proved from the mathematics also. If phi is equal to 90 degrees error signal is 0. This is because so, when V naught is equal to 1 which is high, so a portion of this output signal will be positive, another portion is negative with opposite polarity. So, two amplitudes with opposite polarity the resultant is 0. This is the case of phi in 90. If I take phi is 180, you will get error as negative. can see that this is phi is equal to 180 degrees. This is negative, this is positive. When this is positive, this is negative. Now, we can see that during the negative portion as it is, this will be output of the error detector. So, this will be output of the phase detector. So, during this negative portion output will be 0, during the positive portion of V naught output will be input, so, this will be the output, as it is this will be the output and here it is 0 again this output, so like that you will get only negative portions and if you take the average you will get somewhere here. this is average V which is negative. So, like that this uh, phase detector output varies with the, so this is the phase detector output for different values of the phase. Now, the drawback of uh, this type of the phase detector is, we can see that here this V dash the error signal is a function of the input voltage. Which is undesirable means this V dash which is a part of the closure loop gain of the given PLL depends upon the input amplitude. If, if the input uh, fluctuates then the error signal thereby the overall gain of the loop will be fluctuates, this is undesirable. This is one drawback. Second drawback is this is non-linear in the sense V dash is proportional to cos phi rather than phi. So, implies non-linear. So, in order to avoid this drawbacks, so we will consider this V naught as a square wave instead of sine wave and V s also you can consider square wave, if both if you consider as a square waves, then we can avoid these drawbacks. So, if these two are square waves then we can use a digital circuit to realize the phase detector. So, we will discuss that uh, digital phase detector in the next lecture. Thank you. Mm -hmm.